Carter. Terry's here with the latest results of the polls. You've gone up seven points. Not now. He's been like that for two days. I don't know. Mayor Carter? from the Tucker living room. It's Amanda and her magic heart. Her fingers never leave her hand. Hey, way to go, Rams. They lost. I know, but I won on the point spread. They never let me down. <laughs> yeah. Anything new on the front page? It's awful. One of the gubernatorial candidates, the mayor from Santa Teresa, committed suicide. Mayor Carter? That's hard to believe. I mean, everything was going his way. Honey? Rick, is it hot in here? All of a sudden, I'm burning up. No, if anything, it's kind of cool. But Dickens is feeling it, too. Rick, he's telling me something. I see fire. Lines and lines of fire. Well, you feel cool. gone now but it was there good morning hi Ellen hi it's my first day of school <laughs> do you know they've decided to call my course alternative medicine don't you think that's a very good and appropriate title for high school health week uh -huh. it sounds great mom Yes, well, <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I've never spoken to more than a crowd of two before. Ellen, Ellen, stay calm, be cool, and don't let them know you're nervous. Otherwise, they'll go for your throat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now I really feel better. Better answer the door. I wish you wouldn't do that. That just drives me crazy when you do that. Your grandmother used to do that all the time and made me crazy. That's Mr. Stillwell, who's a lovely man. He's the principal of our high school and come to drive us to school. Yes, hello. It's my first day. This is Mr. Stillwell. Are you all set to go, Mr. Yes, yes, I'm all set. Bye. See ya. Good luck. Thanks. Is this an opportune moment for me? Oh, no. No. Uh, uh, we have a little problem at our school. Uh, Mrs. Hobbs suggested that you might be able to help us. Someone's been breaking into our computer lab at night. Uh-huh. Anything stolen? Uh, yes. Uh, time. Uh, well, computer time is quite valuable. And uh, you don't want to go to the police about this? I was hoping not to have to resort to that. Mrs. Hobb said you'd be pleased to lend us your expertise. I wonder if I put my butternut root in here. 
Uh, Mr. Stillwell, we'll stop by this afternoon. Ah, oh, splendid, splendid. I can't tell you how thrilled I am that... Uh, stop while you're ahead. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Your mom. I know. Oh, you can ask me the car. <laughs> yeah. Why are we all Ain't it the truth? Well, you know, the Mayor Carter out of the race, Mark Wyndham is a shoe in You think so? Mm. I think Lincoln's gonna give him a real run for his money. Oh, you got a feeling? I prefer to think of it as political savvy. The manufacturer donated the equipment. Mr. Briggs. We're hooked into a network of thousands of computers via telephone lines. Well, this is incredible. Wow, oh, our office computer has the same kind of modem. The same modem? Really? Absolutely. These students can really handle these monsters, huh? Handle them? Uh, some of our students are already redesigning them. What is a, a modem? Um, well, a modem is a, it's the computer's link with the outside world. Of course. It has to be one of the computer students. Our junior hoodlum element might take a crowbar and smash one of the terminals, but uh, stealing time? I mean... How could they pawn it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what makes it so difficult. All of the, the... Uh, suspects. Yes, suspects. suspects. All of the suspects are good students. Uh, when, uh, when you find out whoever it is, what's going to happen? Oh, a phone call to their parents, detention hall. Mm -hmm. Any fire drills lately? Not for a couple of months. No, don't set off that alarm. We'll have a thousand students stampeding through here. You want to bet? Don't bet. That's impossible. It's like someone rewired your door, Mr. Stowell. All you have to do is come back later tonight and catch them. <clears throat> a, uh, a stakeout. I don't know how to do it. Splendid. Tell me this is important, Callum. I'm due at a subcommittee meeting in 15 minutes. Yeah, hello, Frank. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah. Hmm? The Ladies League? Well, I don't know. Look it up on the schedule. Well, so? Well, we may have trouble. Someone was listening in when we raided that computer in Tulsa for the information on Mayor Carter. I really need this. Who? No, no Frank. Frank, I, I can't make both of them. The Ladies League has more clout. Okay, whatever you think. Huh? Some kid in high school. How do you know it's a kid? Graffiti. It said Holly was here. Okay, okay. I just left. Now, uh, what are you talking about? Oh, kids playing with computers. They do it all the time. Hey, hold it. I set you up in this specially designed office. I got you your own terminal, so you didn't have to use the computer in my house. Foolproof security, you said. All bases covered, you said. Now you're telling me some kid is onto us? Well, she doesn't know what she has. She can't. Yeah, I'm not taking that chance. I want Hawkins in on this. No! 
No, he scares me. Now look, we've been together a long time, from the beginning. And does this nostalgia have a point? I'm late. Mayor Carter's suicide? We're going too far this time. We didn't do anything to Carter. He did it to himself. Mark, look, this whole business is starting to get to me. You're still way ahead in the primary polls. We can afford to back off. Back off? You can never afford to back off. The minute you back off, you're finished. Get Hawkins, pull the plug on that high school computer, do it tonight. Staking out of high school. Rick? I feel like the Hardy Boys. Want to slide over here? Just for a little while. You will be Nancy Drew. Honey, yeah. somebody's sneaking into high school. Shy little girl in the corner. No way. It's the little chubby boy with the freckles. Uh, could be a crazed killer. I will protect you. Don't be frightened. We won't hurt you. Who are you? We're detectives. Detectives? Mm -hmm. Really? Like Magnum? <laughs> <laughs> well, he is. Where are your guns? <laughs> what, uh, what's your name, Munchkin? Holly. Holly Fields. You gonna take me to the joint? Yeah, the big house. 10 to 20 in detention hall for you. <laughs> P.I.s, huh? Boy, this is terrific. <laughs> Are you pretty good at this stuff? Yeah. So how'd you do it? Hmm? Fingerprints? Mm -hmm. Candy wrapper. Oh, like a clue, right? Man, you must be primo detectives. So, Holly, why'd you turn to a life of crime, huh? Gambling, that's what? <laughs> oh, no, it's just like my computer class assignments were just too easy, you know? It wasn't any fun just sitting in here all alone with all those computers out there to explore. Explore? Yeah, you know, like computer companies and banks. Newspapers, all sorts of neat information. Hmm. Honey, what's wrong? Uh, I just felt that, uh... Oh, I don't know, nothing, I guess.
computers all have security systems, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you little hoodlet. <laughs> you break the access codes, don't you? <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> uh, could you slow down for the civilian? What is an access code? Well, if you think of a computer as a safe, the access codes are like uh, combinations. Oh, okay, thanks. <clears throat> Go ahead. Well, once I get into the computer, I leave graffiti. Uh, I'm lost again. <laughs> I leave these messages, like Holly was here, <sighs> like that. Last week, I found something really interesting. I was eavesdropping. I listened in on this computer. And it was doing the same thing I was doing, except it was raiding a police computer. Where? In Tulsa. Let me get this straight. You say it was raiding a police computer in Tulsa? I've heard enough. Here, I made a print out of the information they were stealing. Hit and run suspect, 19-year-old college student, January 4th, 53. Charge dismissed due to a technicality. Break the name. Yeah. Erwin Carter. Who's he? Up until a couple of days ago, he was the mayor of Santa Teresa, and he was also running for governor. What's the matter with her? There is somebody in this building with us. Hi, how is she? Don't ask. Okay? You kidding? We're talking Angie Dickinson here. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Is Rick single? <laughs> Great.
Honey, if there was anybody out there, I couldn't find them. Rick, there was someone out there. I felt it. Come on. Let's get out of here. We cracked the case. <laughs> oh, Holly. We're gonna have to turn you into Mr. Stillwell, you know. Hey, we'll put in a good word for you, Ange. <laughs> You're not gonna try and skip town on us, are you? Nah. My mom wouldn't let me. <laughs> Go. Blackmail by computer. I love it. I take a whole lot of number crunching. Hey, they can clutch up a database search. It's a new wrinkle, isn't it? Yeah. Most of the stuff we get at the computer crimes division is, is, is time-sharing scams, theft of software, you know, the gray market. Yeah, I mean, basic garbage in, garbage out. Hey, hey, wait, hold it. The next language I want to hear is English. OK, look, now suppose somebody got this information by a computer and then sent Mayor Carter blackmail threats the same way. There'd be no notes, no nothing. Right. Not unless Carter made printouts of it for the threats, but he wouldn't be likely to do that. Tucker, where did you get this printout? Oh, well, uh, let's just call that uh, serendipity. We could call it withholding evidence. <sighs> so there's, there'd be no way to get any proof. You got it. This is suicide brought on by blackmail. Now, if that's not murder, it should be. There must be something you can do. It's out of our jurisdiction. I can pass it on to the Santa Teresa police. That's all we can do. Tucker. Who's your client in this case? That's a good question. Who is our client? Well, the, the car is registered to an Amanda Tucker. That's a copy of a news clipping we found on her and her husband. I thought it was only some kid. Now it's detectives. How much do they know? They know about Carter. Yeah, but they don't know about us. Well. I need the records of two more key people from our list of possible targets. Fairley, left court, Senator McGowan. Hopkins, Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln. Oh, yes. Yes. If I can only find something on Mr. Robert T. Lincoln, I'm home free. I'll try. And the computer in my office is secure. The building's rented in my name, so as long as we don't use this terminal, you're in the clear. Why well, take the chance? All we have to do is lose the Tuckers, and our problems are solved. We don't have to. I want this, Kellum. It's everything I've worked for. It's everything I've dreamed of. I'm going to be the next governor of this state. I can distract them. We only need a couple more days. Distract them? How? I can complicate their lives. But I have a canceled check here dated May 26. No, don't put me on hold. I've been holding all morning. Damn it. What is all this? I've been getting calls all morning from banks, boutiques, furniture stores. Their records show that you two haven't made any payments on anything in over a year. What? That is impossible. Isn't it? That's what I plan to tell these fools if I can never get through. It's Ferrani and Tiger's greatest hits. Wait a minute. Financial records are stored in computers, right? Sure, everything's stored in computers. <sighs> Holly! Boy, you try to sort things out here. That kid is not going to live to see her 17th birthday. Strangers in the Night is one of my favorites. I didn't do it. Honest, Mrs. Tucker, I didn't do it. OK, Holly, I believe you. But someone's been messing around with our accounts. Hey, maybe it was those guys I was eavesdropping on. Who else could it be? I knew there was someone at the school last night. And if they think that we know what they're up to, that makes us a threat to them, doesn't it? Oh, I got you in trouble, didn't I? 
No, no, it is not your fault, okay? It just means that we've got this case whether we want it or not. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Where are we going? To find Rick. All right, outstanding. Hey, where's Rick? He should be galloping up in his white steed any moment now. Holly, I still don't understand how they tracked you to the school. Oh, I left some graffiti in that police computer in Tulsa. Oh, Holly was here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then when I was eavesdropping, there was a breakup of data on the screen. Hey, that must have been that other computer tracking me down. Yeah, then they saw us with you, found out who we were, and messed up our credit records. I don't know why. Mayor Carter is dead. Whatever they're up to, it didn't stop with Mayor Carter. Hello. Hi, Rick. Hi. What did you find out in Santa Teresa? There were no large unexplained bank withdrawals from Mayor Carter's account. So if they were blackmailing Carter, it was not for cash? No. So we got to go over the mayor's life. We got to find his enemies, both personal and political. Boy, I am starved. Is that turkey leg still in the fridge? Wow, they must be trying to take over the world. This is just like James Bond. Holly, what are you doing here? Oh, the bad guys are on to me. They're on to all of us. Marsha, would you forget about the credit hassles? What? No. Marsha, there is no debtor's prison in this country. We'll survive. What I do need is a list of Mayor Carter's closest political associates. Bye-bye. And you, back to school, now. You need my computer brain. I know. A life is full of disappointment. <sighs> hey, Holly. Your schoolwork needs your computer brain more. Schoolwork? Amanda, this is real life. Oh, boy. Come on. Back to school. We'll give you a lift. Hey, maybe Mom can drive you home after school, OK? All right. Well, Holly, I want you to promise me one thing. Next time you touch a computer, keep it legal. I promise. They're at it again. Last week it was Mayor Carter, now there's some dirt on Senator McGowan. Holly, Holly! I think I got a third one. Where is this stuff coming from? Connecticut. Robert T. Lincoln, the guy that's running for governor. <sighs> I know I promised. Shove over here. I can't even talk that fast. Holly, what are you doing? Stealing the information on this Lincoln guy. These creds have had it their way long enough. Why is it doing that? That Hartford police computer just locked me out. I must have tripped a flag or something. It automatically changed the access code. Get it back. I need that information on Lincoln. I can't. No. Could it be that high school computer again? Yeah, it could. Well, take care of it. Good. I found you another helmet. All right. I just have to get something from my locker. All right. I'll be right here. OK.
May I help you? Is something wrong? Uh, just checking the locks. Oh, oh. Is there something loose? <gasps> what are you doing in there? He was in the lab, stealing the modem. Did he see you? No, no, I was too fast for him. Oh, well, we, we better go tell Rick and Amanda. Why, things are really picking up around here. Make sure we're not being tailed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, he was uh, uh, big, uh, no, no, uh, kind of medium, and uh, weird, very, very weird, and dressed in um, a kind of a, a janitor suit, uh, and I, I think uh, that's all I remember. Well, Mom, that's great, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> right, now, first, they blackmail Mayor Carter, now they're after Lincoln, and they're both candidates for governor. Hey, I stopped him from getting that stuff on Lincoln. That's great, Holly. Whiz kid. What I don't understand is why do they want to blackmail Senator McGowan? He's not running for anything. And also, how are we ever going to find them? I mean, computers don't leave fingerprints. By tapping into the central phone company computer. Can you do that? Oh, I've been doing it since the sixth grade. My gosh, we were reading Silas Marner in the sixth grade. Holly. While you're tapping into the phone company's computer. While she what? Yeah. Can you keep them from getting that information on Lincoln if they try again? <sighs> sure. He's Mayor Carter's political cronies. Senator McGowan's on the list. That's the connection. He, he supported Mayor Carter's candidacy. I heard on the radio he's speaking at the press club. They say he's going to throw his weight behind Lincoln. Uh, you hang in with Miss Microchip. Uh, I'm going to try to get to McGowan. What's she gonna do to the phone company? Uh-huh. Okay, okay, everybody. Let's begin. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming. I've always enjoyed a warm personal relationship with the members of the press. I've asked you here today because I'm about to throw my not inconsiderable weight <laughs> behind one of my party's nominees for governor, an old ally my close personal friend, Mark Windham. I know there was a lot of speculation about my supporting Bob Lincoln. Now, Bob is a fine young man and a good assemblyman, but the governor of this great state needs the maturity that only a Mark Windham can bring to this important office. <laughs> We'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Senator, why does he have allegiance? There it is. Okay. It's the billing number for the computer terminal. Now, let's get the address. Anything you want. <laughs> right, right. Let's get the address. Light fiber optics cut jobs like this in half. Do you think I'm pretty? Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty. Girls my age in Samoa are having babies. Okay, now, uh, where are we here? I'm clutching in a new search program. There. Now we wait. You know it's true. What's true? Girls my age are much more mature than they were in your day. Who can remember that far back? <laughs> Holly, um, I think we ought to talk. What's the matter? Don't you like me? I'm a married man. 
And you were 16 years old. Well, Saudi Arabia... We're not in Saudi Arabia. And we're not in Samoa. I'm in Santa Monica. I'm not James Bond. I've got a mortgage. I've got a mother-in-law. I've got a cat that I'm allergic to. But you're such a babe. <laughs> hey. In another country. In another time. But not here. Not now. Okay? Okay. Were the Beatles really that good? <laughs> McGowan called his press conference to support Mark Wyndham for governor. He was supposed to be supporting Lincoln. Forget that. Wyndham's got him in his pocket now. And Lincoln's next. <gasps> I found a blackmailer's computer! <laughs> I've been trying to get a hold of you. I've had a breakup on my readout screen. A breakup? Meaning what? They know where I am. <sighs> well, I can't let those detectives get to that other computer before I have what I need on Lincoln. My press conference is tomorrow. Why not use that one? They could trace the other terminal, they can trace this one. If that happens, it's all over. I'll stop them. Well, we'll be followed. Rick, that's that snake I saw with Wyndham. Yeah. God, lose him. To what? Florid. <laughs> well, he's got you doing it now. <laughs> Why don't I just blast him with my tail-mounted heat-seeking bazookas? Rick, we cannot let him follow us to that computer. Oh, I am burning up again. Honey, maybe you're coming down with something. Officer Wolf, does he still have that speed trap over on 14th? Yeah. didn't stop them? I'll find the computer. The files are there. Why didn't you destroy them? You want me to re-rate a computer every time I make a blackmail threat? Those printouts have dates, facts. It has to be down there in black and white. Callum, I trusted you to lead me through this labyrinth of electronic wizardry. But now we're down to one final fallback position. You designed this security system. It damn well better work. Oh. Rick, what was that? It's a bolt. Rick! I see it. Those 
Chambers, I felt like I was burning up. Well, we are. Did you do anything with the lock? We can't picture it. Nothing's coming. Well, we're coming in. Well, we weren't on fire then. Great. We really appreciate you responding so quickly, Mr. Lincoln. Well, your phone call was uh, very persuasive. Well, Wyndham doesn't have this information about you yet. We blocked him for now. But we can't keep it from him forever. Is it true? As far as it goes, I was a patient in a private sanatorium for several months following my wife's death. And you kept it quiet all these years? I know it was something I should have talked about during my first campaign, or before. I never found the courage. When those blackmailed Senator McGowan into endorsing him, you are next. Well, if you know this, why hasn't he been arrested? Because we can't prove it. See, Wyndham's hired man, Kellum, rented the building and the computer equipment used in the scheme, but we don't have a thing on Wyndham himself. Then there's no solution? Hey, did you get a readout yet? Uh, Mr. Lincoln, here is our solution. Ms. Holly Fields. Hey, Rick, they're trying to access the Connecticut computer again. They're asking it about Mr. Lincoln. Great. Wyndham wants something to blackmail you with. Let's give it to him. All right. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's perfect. That's just perfect. That should convince Mr. Lincoln not to run. Hawkins, get him on the phone for me. There's something strange about this signal. They traced us. No, I don't think so. Well, then, shut it off so nobody can. I'm sure you all know Mr. Robert T. Lincoln. Bob? Ladies and gentlemen, I realize it must be something of a shock to see me here today, but I have an important statement to make. Mark Wyndham, even though he was my opponent, is a man I have always admired until today. You see, he has just tried to blackmail me, as he did Mayor Carter and Senator McGowan. All right. If that's the way he wants to play it, he does. And he's going to win, too. That information that you got on Mr. Lincoln didn't come from a police computer in Connecticut, but from a 16-year-old girl in L.A. <laughs> oh, thanks, honey. School. Boy, back in my day. The dawn of time. Yeah, in the cave. <laughs> we were lucky if we had slide rules. Did it make you feel funny being back in high school again? Yeah. Me too. Boy, it seems like a foreign country to me now. It seems like a foreign country to me back then. <laughs> I was scared of everything. Uh, teachers, exams, girls. Girls? You? 
Oh, yeah, I was terrified of girls. Especially Kathy Cahoon. Kathy Cahoon? Uh -huh. She was my first big date. I spent the first two hours of Lawrence of Arabia trying to put my arm around her. And I finally got it there. What happened? She changed her seat. I wouldn't want to go through that again for anything. Rick. Hmm? You don't have to. Hmm. <laughs>